Who served this food? Mercy! Mercy! Ma! Ma? Who served this food? I served the food, ma. You served the food? Yes, ma. Thank you. You can go back to the kitchen. Thank you. Have you eaten? Yes, ma. You sure? Yeah. I am sure she ate the food this time around. That little witch did not throw it away. This time around, Madame Christie would die like chicken. And I can't wait to spit on her remains. Her greed has led her to her early grave. Imagine an old woman telling men what to do and what not to do. Let her die and go and join her husband in the great beyond. <sighs> and I can't wait for that moment when a song will be sung just to mourn her passing. Mm. And I'm certain she will definitely pass on during her sleep. And I can't wait to look at her lifeless body and laugh, and laugh, and laugh. <laughs> Until I'm tired of laughing. At least she will allow us to enjoy our marriages with our husbands. <sighs> Good riddance to bad rubbish. We need to start looking for a way to fake cry tomorrow morning. Mm. Because tomorrow morning go red. You need to see the way I will cry. I will throw myself up. The way I will throw myself down. I will be crying as if I lost the husband. Mm. Let me just show you it. <clears throat> Mama, see you. That's why. That's why. That's why did you take away this virtuous woman. Mama. Oh. See you. Hmm? And I will join you. <laughs> Gladly join you. And I will do. Somebody hold me, I want to keep myself so that you are too cruel. That you are too cruel. I'm dying. Doctor, I beg go. Be cool, be cool. Don't even call my name. Which one is uh, uh, I. She has it something. I don't know. Help your mother, please. Hi. Please help. She said I need this time. Oh, Mama, say nice your houses. Oh, you okay? You video in it? I just said that. I just said you will always be a good son. Ah, my intestine! Um, you send it to me through Zender later, eh? I don't think I have time for this. Um, just call at least and get my make on car and put this icon. Oh, yes. That's mm. true. I don't get that for this kind of thing. Oh. I don't know how to do my bag. I don't know how to do my bag. I don't know how to do my bag. Can you please make me do some hungry? Okay. Um, do you want a pepper? Um, a bit of pepper, but make sure you make it with um, corn beef. Okay, no problem. Would you want the egg fried or boiled? Boiled. Okay, I know, I know what you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, see. Hey, die now. What are you saying? Die! Just, just be Give fast. Up. You're taking too long. Ah. <sighs> Mama. 
the seal, stop the car. Mama, see? Mama, is everything okay? I mean, are you, are you fine? I am fine. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Mama, mm. you mean you didn't eat that food? No, I did not eat it. Oh, yes. I was yes. just pretending. I wanted to see what the reaction of my children yes. would be. But, Mama, see, why are you doing all this? I just Mama. said it. You know what we're going to do? Basil, you'll drive us back to the house. Okay. In the dead of the night, I'm going to sneak back into the house okay. when nobody would see me. All right? Oh, oh, all right, ma. So just drive us back. Okay, ma. I'm happy. I'm happy. Who must have poisoned her? Well, I, I don't think anyone poisoned her. I think maybe perhaps she ate those useless food cooked by those vendors out there. With all the white magnets. Mm-hmm. I just pray nothing happens to her. Honestly. Because I can't afford to be an orphan. No father, no mother. Hmm. This is happening to her because of her stubbornness. How? How would you? Well, when Dad was alive, we used to be happy in this house. After Father's death, she changed. She became very greedy and she doesn't want you guys to inherit your inheritance. And that's no. not enough for someone to poison her food? Like I said, no one poisoned her. At least she didn't eat the poison here. Perhaps she ate it out there and came here to, you know, concoct all the drama. In case any of you must have poisoned her, the police will track the person down to this house. And you know, this is gonna be a slap and a shameful thing onto this house. Who would want to poison her in this house? I know we all have our differences. Exactly. Why would someone want a human dead? That's so absurd. Like, I can't even imagine it. Ah. Why am I having this feeling that lot of you poisoned Mama C? Uh-uh. Yes. Hmm. What kind of talk is that one? Hmm. Raymond, what, what was that? Why are you pointing at kissing feet? Please, stop it. What's this? I will not stand no, here with this nonsense. shouting. Uh, because you're not sounding convincing. Uh, what what, what was that? that? Why are you calling my name? If it happens that both of you poisoned her food, police will come for both of you. I, I don't know why you're calling my name. Please stop it. Name, like... Unana Ami. Unana Ami, one after the other. Unana Ami, one after the other. See, there's a big problem at hand. There's a big problem. The very big problem is, Indeed. but you know what? I never thought about this until you said it. I think Kosi and Julian has a hand in this. Do you know I went in and I accused them of poisoning Mama C's food? Really? And guess what? What? Your guess was as good as mine. Of course our husbands are not far from the truth. If she dies, we're done for. Hmm. Well, I'll just run away. I will run away if anything goes wrong. I'll simply disappear into thin air before the police even think of getting to me. You don't sound reasonable at all. Don't you know the police can always fish you out? There is no hiding place for us. I told you let the sleeping dog lie, but she wouldn't listen. What are you even saying? After the two attempts on her life failed, I told you let it lie. You were just bent, you're just being adamant. No, 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 what are you saying exactly? Are you trying to push all the blame on me? It's entirely your fault. Now look at what is happening to us. I, I should have just, I should have just stood my stance. Are you a baby? Tell me, are you a child? Why didn't you decline? I declined. You kept pressurizing me. We should join forces, join forces. I should have just known this would backfire. I should, I should. You know what? At this point, I am in no mood for your jitters, okay? Instead of sitting here and apportioning blames, we should think of a way forward. Leave me alone. I told you let us stop, but you said no.
Kosei, let's join forces together and finish our common enemy. Come on, we want her out. Julian, I want you to slow down on this. You made an attempt on her life and failed. I equally did and I failed. But that shouldn't deter us from trying a third time. We must get her out. Then count me out. I don't want to be a part of it, please. No, you will be a part of it. I said I don't want to be a part of it. Listen, Cozy. You will. Come on, we are women. This is what we do. We pave the way. We'll have to do this so that our husbands can inherit their inheritance. Julian, are you going to force me? Of course, my darling, I will force you. Both of us, we're two peas in a pod. Listen, Cozy, do this with me. Let's get this done. Let's take her away permanently. Julian, please, I want you to reconsider your stance on this. Have you not noticed something about Mama Z? It's like something is backing her up. There is nothing backing her up but that little imp. And we'll take care of her. That's not a problem. Kosi, let's take her away permanently. We have nothing to lose. But so much to benefit from this. Come on. Think about it. So, what's next? Simple. You call Mercy to save her her last supper. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Her last meal. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Mercy! Mercy! Mm. Ma, where have you been? I was doing something in the backyard. Oh, okay. Take this to my mother-in-law. It's okay. her meal, actually. Uh -huh. Okay. And make sure nothing happens to it, okay? Yes, ma. Do it quickly, then you can go back to whatever you're doing at the backyard. Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. Listen, and listen good. If I go down, you're going down with me. You poisoned her. So you should bear the consequences of your action. Point of correction. We poisoned her. And whatever comes out of this, we are going to face it. Either good or bad. Nothing good will ever come out from killing someone. <laughs> What a laugh. So you knew, yet you poisoned her. Why didn't you even think about the implication? Yes, I did. But I did not succeed, and I decided to let things be. Until you came up with a crazy idea for the fact that you even tried to poison her. We are saying. You didn't run in your mouth like typewriter. Just know that when this backfires, you will carry it all by yourself. Cozy. Just know that when the music plays, the dancer should be ready to dance to its rhythm. Whatever comes of this, we're definitely facing it together. What are you doing in this room? What are you searching for? What does this look like? Uh, Raymond, we just lost Mama C. And the only thing that could come to your mind is to rush to her bedroom to begin to search for documents and credit cards. Really? Yes, because I need to get my hands on those stuffs. Raymond, you are unbelievable. I thought the only thing that should be in your mind is how we would get to the mock. At least to see Mama C, who has been announced to be dead. And at least to confirm ourselves that she died. Well, Anderson, I don't see anything wrong with what my husband is doing. Or you could say 
if there's nothing wrong with what your husband is doing? Julian, we just lost our mother. And all your husband could think of is to come to our mother's room to search for documents. I mean, we should be thinking of finding solution or whatever that caused the death of our mother by carrying out an autopsy. Autopsy? I'm actually going to get to the mortuary. Wake her up. Then she come and give me these stuffs. After then, she might go back to the mortuary. What is it? You're so unbelievable, bro. Why are you sounding this way? We all saw how Mama C struggled before dying. And by indication, it's clear. Someone from this house must have poisoned Mama C. Or the office. It's not possible. She died here. She struggled here. So whatever she ate must have been from this house. I don't understand. I can't believe the things about you. I think she was smart enough to do away with what you're looking for before now. Mm. Mm. I have a feeling that there's one more place you haven't checked. May I have the pleasure of knowing where that place could be? Under the mattress. Oh, really? Why don't you just go ahead and give me lifting hands to that place? I really need to lay my hands on this stuff before someone else does because I do not trust any of you. Can you give me a lifting hand? Men do they have a lifting? Sorry. Thank you. I really need to lay my hands on those stuffs. Mm. Oh, oh. It's empty. I have always known that Mama sees a witch. Where, where could she have hidden them? Where exactly? glass of juice. Ma? A cold glass of juice. Okay, glass of juice. I want to cool off with juice. Chinaza cried all through the night because of my sister. Who cares? I don't feel any pity for her. Who? That stupid girl, of course. Come on. <laughs> I can't... I'm very, very sure. Trust me. I'm sure by now... Mama says lifeless body would have been deposited into the morgue. <laughs> Here I come now. Here I come and start dragging property with us, stupid woman. It's very close. Thank you. Uh -huh. I did not think to get one for me. My nephew asked me for crash of you, so Auntie Kosi say make him bring me crash of you, so I bring him for. Are you mad? Get out! Get out! Just go. I can't wait to see you fired, idiot. Yeah. Let her be. You didn't ask her to get you one. She would so? have gotten you. Just, just leave her, please. I, I am super excited. Very soon, our husbands will inherit their inheritance after their mother's funeral. And that makes me super happy. I'm sharing in that excitement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see that wicked woman's body committed to Mother Earth. <laughs> ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Ghost! Lord of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Lord of Jesus. I told you that woman is a witch. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. A woman that was 
carried out of this place last night. Half dead. Was the one who just drove out the gate. Uh, is this some sort of a movie? Are there cameras somewhere? I am shocked to my bone marrow. Is that a ghost? Because I am sure she's lying dead in the mortuary, according to Chinaza. D did she survive this? Are you sure she ate the food? Of course. She did. She, she, she ate the poison food. Are you sure? Because I am confused. I, I don't know what else to believe. She, are you sure we added enough the substance what are you even in her food? Saying? What are you even saying? Mercy told me. She, 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 she ate the food. Besides, I, I saw her cleaning the dishes that Mama C had used to eat. Mercy. Mercy. What's wrong with you? Why are you this happy? Did you win the lottery? No, Mama C, you shop everything now. You don't shop well now. So Mama C has eaten? Yes. Now the place I use the watch that is sick. You create everything. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, what are we having for dinner? Uh, Auntie Goose, you say, make a prepare some fistas and okra soup. Um, okay, that's fine. Please make sure it's delicious, okay? Ma? Make sure it's delicious. Okay, delicious. You know, as I be karabake now, we're going to keep it delicious. Okay, you know what? Huh? Just, when dinner is ready, come call me. Um, but make sure you serve the food first, okay? I'll be upstairs in my room. Okay. Uh, okay, I should come and call. Uh, continue cleaning the plates. No dancing or singing. Okay. And make sure to call. Okay, ma. Make sure you get me in the upstairs when the food is ready. <laughs> I don't like the way this woman is speaking, <laughs> Come and get me in the upstairs when your food is ready. <laughs> See, she, 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 she told me that Mama C ate it. So, uh, what was this? And it, you and I witnessed that woman yesterday, last night. She, she, she was almost dead. Uh, anybody who just could not just walk out like that, Helen Hardy, how, how did she do it? I don't know. Anybody that saw what happened last night would just conclude that this woman would not make it. The question is, how, she survived with that. How did she come back? I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Because I am sure that I, I, I poured the whole rat poison into her food. I emptied it and she ate it. Trust me, no, no one would, can survive that. The question like you raised is, how is she hale and hardy? No, 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 she's definitely a witch. Like you said, she's a witch. She is a witch. I think we'll have a problem trying to kill her. What are you getting at? This is the third time we're poisoning her food. Well, we'll think of something. Yes, there are a thousand ways to kill a rat. And trust me, she's no different because We need to think of something, like, really fast. Yes, we have to make it snappy. We do not have the luxury of time. This time around, everything is going to work according to plan. Yes, 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 yes. But first, we need to think. You and who? Are you not tired? No, no. You're on your own. Whatever you're doing, you need to do it fast so we can rush to the mug to confirm if Mama C died truly. Hold on, I'm almost done. Let me just put him up. You know how people think. Before you know it, they'll begin to conclude that we heard that Mama T died and we decided to do nothing about it. I know. Hold on. At least we need to get there to confirm this. Almost true. We just... We just saw 
What? Mama, see, drive out of the compound. Yes, we just saw her ghost moments ago. You saw Mama moments see. ago, yes, yes. Drive out of the compound. Yes, you guys are so funny. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mama said that's dead. <laughs> oh my god, you guys don't even know what you're talking about. See, Mama said has been confirmed dead. As I speak to you right now, she's in the morgue. Chinaza Ambassador has confirmed that they saw her dead themselves. We just saw her now. As a matter of fact, she was fully dressed. She drove out with her car. Chelugodi, Chelugodi. Okay, Mama see here. Which one? Which Mama see are you talking about? The one lying dead in the hospital, in, in the mortuary? Uh, it, it, she dressed, mm. dressed, drove out. out. She's she, dressed mm. and drove out with her car? Mm. Mama, see? Whatever this is, I am not in for this. I've heard stories about ghosts tormenting houses and disturbing people around, but that's in the movie. But clearly, if Mama C is around, or rather, if her ghost is around this house, disturbing anyone, that means whoever that killed Mama C should be in this house. Oh, what are you talking about? Who must have killed Mama C or who wants to kill Mama C? More reason we should go to the mob to find out what killed Mama C. Oh. Hey, Mama C. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Um, this, is, this, is, this is not funny now, okay? Come on, let's let's move ahead. Let's go, on, let's see. Get the door. Why are guys see? There's no Mama C anywhere. Hold on. Can we? Mama C! Where shall we? Can you see for yourselves? Mama C is nowhere. So come, let's go. We need to get to the mortuary. Come, let's go. Come, 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 come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, Mama C. Okay, Mama C will get you there. Children and their wives couldn't even ask me what killed Bingo. Rather, they fled for inviting them for something as insignificant as the death of a mad dog. So this is how I would have died if not for Chinaza, who saved me. <laughs> By now I would have been dead. I can't believe it. I can't even emphasize the reason why my two daughters-in-law would want me dead. The one that pains me the most is Kosi. If a suitor had told me that Kosi, that I took as a daughter, the daughter of my best friend, whom I recommended for Anderson to marry, would one day seek to hurt me. Oh my God, I wouldn't have believed it. But I guess life is unpredictable. Hi honey, how are you? I hope you're good. All doing great. We're just wondering when you're coming back from China. Okay, I guess we've missed you more. Oh, by the way, I just want to seek your permission to do something. You remember my best friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm wondering. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, and um, I just want to ask him. I recommend uh, her last daughter for Anderson to marry. Okay, thank you so much. I knew I could trust you on this one. Well, uh, she is a beautiful young girl, so mature and intelligent. I just love her. I've always loved her from when she was a child. Um, okay, but if you remember, we are her parents. And that's why she listens all the time. All right then, I will call her mother and let her know, okay? And the sea has got a wife, and the sea has got a wife, and the sea has got a wife. Mama sea. Animal. <laughs> you don't look bad at all. Wow. Ever green and ever young. <laughs> you can say that again. I mean, we need to take care of ourselves. Mm. Oh my come on, women. <laughs> so how's the family? We are fine. That's good. What about Kosi, my daughter? <laughs> Kosi is very fine. That's good to hear. Did I tell you? Suitors are already filing in. <laughs> are you kidding 
Mary. Mm. Uh, 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 she don't call me again. Just hold it right there. Eh? Those suitors are better pack. Huh. Tell your husband's kinsmen that they had better leave Kosi alone because my eyes are on her. Kosi. Mm -hmm. huh. Please. The prayer of every parent is to be alive, to see their sons and daughters get married. That's everyone's prayer. Mm -hmm. So I have the perfect children for Kosi. Really? Yes. And who is that? No one else but my handsome tall son, Anderson. Anderson! Anderson, Anderson. <laughs> Anderson, your son. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh, you know my son, um, uh, Raymond, yeah. married that Kogi girl. We hardly vibe. I don't know. There's just something that is not right. That's why I need to get my son a good wife. Someone that is almost like a daughter to me. I know the two of them would really take care of me. I vibe very well with Kosi. <laughs> yeah? But let me ask yes. What if he declines? Who? Anderson, Anderson my son. Uh -huh. I know Anderson like the back of my palms. He will not decline. You know, he's a very loving young man. Always looking out for his mother. Mm. They'll make a beautiful couple. Mm. Forget it. I like the sound of this. You do? Anderson is a great guy and I know he will make a good husband. Oh, you know he'll take care of your daughter. Mm. Hey, hey, Biko, tell Kosi to see me. She of course, you know I will. Like Isa. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Uh -huh. Sure. By the way, what about those fabrics we've been talking about? You are still talking about those fabrics? Yes. We should be talking about that shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> Mama Fee. That's me. Mama Lecham. Mama. Eh? Mama Sinaji. Thank you. Mama. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> I can't stop admiring you every time I see Thank you, Mama C. Mama C, you look good equally. No need asking you. Well, I'm okay. I mean, I wouldn't complain considering the age, mm. you know. <laughs> and I also want to thank you for answering my call. Okay. Mama C, I hope there's no problem. No problem at all. No problem. I was just wondering, when was the last time you saw my son? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, you both used to be very close, you know, as teenagers and during your university days. What happened? We're still close now, but we haven't spoken for a while. Oh, well, well, I was just wondering, thinking, and, you know, wondering, and just saying to myself that you both can actually make a good pair, if you know what I mean. I mean, like, get married and... Uh, <laughs> the way you're laughing, you're in love with my son already. I know it. I mean, he's so handsome. Who wouldn't be in love with Anderson <laughs> if it wasn't my son? <laughs> Mama, it, it would have been a good idea, but I'm seeing someone. You are. Yes. And how serious are you with this guy? We are very serious. We're in love, and I'm hoping he's going to lead to marriage. Though he hasn't proposed, but yes. I am sure he would. He hasn't proposed. That means he's not serious. Just take this advice from the soul woman. My son is the best thing for you. I promise you that. <laughs> Mama, see, I, I, I know what is best for me. I love this guy so much and I'm sure he would propose. Mama, besides, Anderson hasn't looked my way. He was so paid. So disappointed. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry, Mama, see. Don't be. Let me drop my soul, was it? But I'm sorry. That's all my wishes. Are you sure there's no... You will not reconsider? Oh. Kosi just left here like an hour ago. Hmm. Yes. Kosi, your daughter. My daughter, but not my biological daughter, but to bring the daughter thing closer home, I am wondering and thinking that maybe, maybe you should marry her. I don't understand. Why would you want me to marry a girl who is like a sister to me? Because she is not your sister. Come on, mom. I mean, because she has always been like a sister to me. Oh, well, been like, but she's not. We're not even from the same local government. Yes, same state. But not local government, so I don't see anything wrong with you marrying Kosi. Oh, well, Mom, I don't know why you would say you don't see anything wrong with me marrying Kosi. Besides, the Kosi in question, you and Dada are her godparents. 
She's like a sister. I can't marry Kosi. Good parents. Yeah, it's different from when she now comes closer. Your union will bring children that will be part of our blood. Please, I beg of you, marry this girl and make her part of this family. Please, do it for me. Mom. I am sorry I'm going to disappoint you this time around. I mean, there's no way I can oblige to this that you desire. I can't marry Kosi. Hell no. I can't condescend to marry Kosi. Why? What do you mean condescend? She's That's more like a sister to me. And I've told you she's not. Except you have any other reason. Well, here's the fact. There's a girl in my life, a woman I'm in love with. A woman you're in love with? How come you've not told your father and I about this woman you're in love with? Okay, um, <laughs> here's the thing here. Um, the one I'm in love with happens to be an undergraduate. Mm -hmm. She's still schooling at UN in Suka. Mm -hmm. So probably by the time she's done, I think that would make her more valuable to present to the family. Mm -hmm. And that's when you've uh, paid her school fees and all that. Well, if you ask me, I still want to go see. So, and besides, I'll be the one to judge if she's valuable or not. But mom, but mom, I, I, I know Kosi is a beautiful girl. I, I know that, but I mean, marrying her is not something I can actually concede. I don't think I can do that. Well, marry Kosi. What do you think? Mom, it doesn't work that way. Why are you sounding this way? So I, now tell me, are you going to force down or wipe down my throat? Are you? If you need to be, honey. Let me top your drink for you. Don't top, top yours. I insist. You need it. No, I need so to. that when you meet Kosi. Mom, mom, let me increase your drink. I need to viable, topple your drink, mom. It will become a viable affair. So I should top it? Top it. I'll go and visit Kosi. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Um, just give me some little time. Let me fetch my mom. Okay. Mom? So? Oh, there you are. Yes, I am. I was going to fetch you. Ah. Go see! Mama, <laughs> my darling. Oh, you're here. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Oh, my God. So good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Well, um, oh, um, um, permit me to make an introduction. Um, meet for leave. Um, yeah. Kosi, she's the girl I've been talking to you about. The one you wanted me to marry. No way! <laughs> Kosi! Samasi. Olive? Yes, ma'am. Ah, 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 ah. So you, you both are already dating behind my back? Well, um, <clears throat> let's say... We've been dating before now. And no one... Thought it was to let me know. Hey, hey, hey. Mom. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. You better know what you're doing. Sit down and tell me about this. Please sit. <laughs> Thank you. All right, sit, sit, sit. I can't believe this. Only. <sighs> Go see. Oh. <laughs> you guys got me there. Umbra, tell me how it all started. Um, so this is it. Under the sun. I'm looking for taxis. I'm traveling back to school. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, okay, then, if you don't mind, can I give you a lift off to the park? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's okay, fine. right? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you. 
Oh my god, this is heavy. You know we meant stuff. Jeez. I I call you by your baptismal name, um, Olive. You know already. I think I like the name of Olive, so I'll call you that. Whichever one is fine. Anyone you prefer. Uh, my parents happen to be your God's parents, so of course I should know all of it. Okay. But I love Olive a lot, so I'll call you that. But you know something, eh? you're a very beautiful girl, I must say. <laughs> Don't you get tired? I'm just telling you the truth. Do you know, let me make this confession. Do you know there were days that when you come visiting, I do peep just to look at you. What's that? Yes, of course. Is it because we're all grown now and everyone is acting up like an adult? There were days, like, I swear, like, I used to go from the window and look at you. Okay. Yeah. So, how long would this semester last? Two or three months. Uh, so, that means I'm going to stay, like, a couple of months before I could set my eyes on you again. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Oh. We'll, we'll keep talking. Um, I'm going to keep uh, communicating with you in that case. It's fine. Yeah, we have to communicate there. Yeah. Can I say but to say safe trip? Uh not really. Um I'm not too far from the house, so in a few minutes time I'm gonna be at home. Oh yeah, sure I will. So you take care of yourself. Alright, bye. So Tom. Have you got it to sit down? Oh wow, thank you for joining us. Have you eaten? Mm. Okay, um, in that case I would um, suggest you take some rest. Maybe shower or something. Um, babe, let me ask you, what's your favorite color? Please, forgive me, I've actually forgotten. What's your favorite color? Hey, 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 please, don't even start again, please. I've forgotten, just remind me, please. Oh, my goodness, how could I have forgotten that? I've always, oh, jeez, I've forgotten that pink is a favorite color, like you love pink so much. Forgive me, this will happen again. All right, darling. Uh, so at this point, I'll just have to leave you because I have a lot of things to catch up with. So we'll talk later. All right, so we'll take care of you. All right, all right. 
So mom, that was how we met. And ever since then, we haven't stopped loving each other. You mean you both have been seeing yourselves behind my back? I can't believe this. Really? Well, then go ahead and do the needful. Mom. Yes, give me grandchildren. Just like that? Of course. You said you both are in love. You've not even proven anything to me. You're sitting wide apart. You know, it is something called body language when people are in love. And I don't see it happening. It's all right. It's time to sink the ship. Did you hear what Mom said? Yes, but we can't do this. Hey, baby, mm. don't just stop mm. Um, it's time to show my mom the things we do behind her. Um, you do? Or rather, behind <clears throat> those doors. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Mom, are you there? I want to see it. Mm, Mama, are you sure you're going to see this? I have great security. Okay. Mom, are you going to be strong? I want to see. Are you sure? Should I? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> Miguel, I recommend it for my son to marry. No one wants me dead at all costs. Did I go? Lucy, it's okay. It's not okay. I would have been dead by now if not for you. No, no. I can't kill you. Unless there is no God in heaven. Anyway, I'll be traveling to the States soon. And, um, you have to be here. You'll be my eye here, alright? Okay, Mama. Not to worry. I'll call from time to time. Just to ensure you have your nose. Okay, Mama. Crazy. Hello? Chinaza, this is Mama C. Oh, Mama, good morning, Ma. Oh, good evening. It's night over here in America. Wow. Mama, things are not in all doubt. It has gone completely this real courtesy of Uncle Raymond. What is happening? Mama, Uncle Raymond fired Auntie Mercy, Uncle Basio, Mohammed, and all the staffs in the company. What? What impudence? Hmm. Mama, they are now in charge and run things at the company. Mama, I'm even trekking, you know. I'm trekking to school. I've spoiled everything for me. It's okay, just manage, alright? Do take care of yourself. Okay, Mama, Mama, bye. Take care. Bye. I ask you again, where did you get the money to buy all of this things? Where? What kind of lame question is that? Do you know where I got the money from? If I knew where you got the money from, I would be asking you. So tell me, where did you get money to buy all of this? Okay, I got it from the water company. What? So knowing what the company has been going through, you have the mind to go into the company's account to buy things, go see. Why would you do that? Why are you shouting? Tell me, why are you shouting? I just took my own national cake. Besides, Julian and I are in this together. We took our own national cake. Please, 
Calm down. Are you, are you? Are you guys, are you okay? My goodness. You guys are unbelievable. You and Julian. Oh my God. So you guys are the cause of what is going on in that company. So you knew what the company has been going through all this while and you have the mind to still launch into the company's account to make expenses. You have been crippling the company behind us. God, why? Why are you guys stealing from the company? Why? Point of correction. We took, not steal. I beg. Hello, Gilbert. <laughs> How are you? Hi, is mom and dad. I'm doing okay, thank you. Uh, listen to me. Listen. You know what? Just send me your account details. I'll send some money across. But can you listen? I need you to keep it safe. Do not touch it. I'm serious. Yes. Have you, have you not been listening to me? As soon as it hits your account, don't touch it. A simple instruction. Uh, no, send it right away. I'll do it now. Okay. Sure. <sighs> At least now I can embezzle the company's funds and pamper myself. <laughs> ah, ah, what a life. Oh, Gilbert, right on time. Okay. App transfer. Not now, network. Not now. Okay. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. No, more, more. I should just add more, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, sent. Okay. Hello, Gilbert? Yes, I just sent you a millionaire now. Check. You should have received it. Just check. Please, don't forget what I said. Don't touch it. Whenever I need it, I will ask for it. And make sure to send it immediately, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, now I'm there, brother. <sighs> Who says money is evil? That person is here to taste money and power. Oh, what? Why don't I just go for shopping? Yes, shopping it is. <laughs> ah, and here comes the princess. Mm, the princess of Mamasi's clan. <laughs> Ooh, mm. Time to go shopping. Time to go shopping. Time to go on a spa. Yes, I should in this past section. Oh, that makes no sense. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Great, 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 great. We are losing money already. Hold on, let me call you back. What is it? Why are you shouting like that? We are losing money already. Like, you don't know? Look at the file. We're losing money already. How? What happened? Do you know that the bunch of idiots we employed? They don't have any working experience. Go to the factory and see the kind of damages that we are, we are running here. What? You don't understand. We are running into damages every day. We are losing money. I remember when we had a target on these people, they, they were part of it. And I asked them if they had working experience. They said yes, you were there. And you even supported one or two. I don't see what you're talking. I was there for real. Yes, I was there. But what I'm telling you right now is you need to get up, turn off this AC, and take your ass to the factory to see what is going on there. So many damages happening there. 
And it has been like this from the very first day we employed all of them. I am telling you, you need to get up from that place and let's go to the factory. I think this AC is not even helping me. I think I need to turn off this AC. Sir, so you get up from there and do the needful. Get up from there and go to the factory so you can see things yourself. What's the meaning of this now? What's wrong with you? What I'm asking you to do is to get up from the seat and go to the factory to see things yourself. We are losing money, man. We are losing millions. What really happened? What is it? It's obvious. From the way you're asking, doesn't mean your wife has not told you what is going on. Your wife, who is the new accountant of the company, has not told you anything. No. Oh my God. Why? Why hasn't she told you anything about it? Well, Kosi, my wife told me that we're losing money every day. That's a matter of fact, on daily basis, the file is showing that we're losing millions, like we're running to millions every day. What? If we are not careful, we are going to run bankrupt, like bankrupt, and we're going to shut down. Oh asking me. How come my wife has not told me anything of this? She was one that told me that we're losing money every day. And this money are running into millions. And when I try to talk to you, what do you do? I am the first one. I am the first one. I am the first one. This is all you give me. Of course, I am the first son. So what? We're losing money here. Uh, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, mind the way you talk to me. Okay, come on, let's go to the factory. Let me not wait for you. Please come, let's go. Don't wait for you, please. I told you. I told you. When I was saying it, you didn't understand what I was trying to tell you. You have gone there to see things yourself. This is just a very big loss in this company. A big loss. You see, I could remember when we were taking this company from where we took it from. You insisted that we should fire everyone in the line of production. You and Julian said, fire this person, fire that person. You literally fired everyone that you felt that was a constraint, hindering your services and positions. I was trying to tell you then, let us preserve some persons in that same department. What did you do? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do not push the blame on me, please. Oh, I shouldn't push the blame on you. I shouldn't push the blame on you. When you allowed Julian and your wife to toss you around like a coin, Hey. You know how to flip a coin? And that's how she flips you. Remove my wife out of this. Is it possible to expunge your wife out of this conversation? When your wife and Kosi are busy stealing money from the company's account and giving themselves treats. You're acting as if you don't know. What is this all? Oh, like a breaking news thing. What? Yes, of course. Your wife and Kosi have been stealing money from the company's account, giving themselves numerous treats. Haven't you been seeing that yourself? This will look really good on me, at least, to bring out all my cups on this beautiful body. It's a banger. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Julie. Uh, yes, baby. What's going on? What does it look like is going on? Mm. Where are these things coming from? My brother Gilbert sent them. Gilbert? Yes. Sent these clothes to me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just got them from the courier now. What do you think? I thought what? you said Gilbert is here to get a job after his NIC. So how come? And where did he get the money to buy all this clothes and send to you? Yes, yes. Or is, is he doing Yahoo now? Excuse you? God forbid. Why would you even think that? Come on. Well, Gilbert got a contract. Okay. And after executing the contract, he made so much money and decided to spoil his sister. <laughs> what do you think about this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this? I'm happy for him, man. Oh. Give back that money to send all these expensive clothes to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gilbert? Yes. Gilbert. Who else? Who else? <sighs> this is... Oh! Oh! This is a steal. He really gets me. He gets me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. uh, 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 uh. What do you think? Hi. Goodness gracious. 
You see, now I understand. Now I see why our mom was so determined. Now I see why she was so vehement in her position on not relinquishing this inheritance to us. What have we done with this inheritance? Within this short period of time that we took over this company. Did you see what we have done with it? We have literally ruined everything. Everything they worked for. Hi, God. I made a very big mistake by allowing my wife to become the accountant of this company. Ah, I can say this now. When I was trying to make a point that let this woman from Kogi State not be the accountant. You said she's related to Yaya Bello, that they know how to manage money very well. They have proven that their blood is the same. Mom? What impudence. If you don't get your stupid selves out of that company in the next 24 hours, I will make sure you rot in jail. Mom, I am not going anywhere. Because I am the first son of our family. This company is my inheritance. Our inheritance, plural, say it properly. You have from now till tomorrow to call back to office all the staff that you fired. Mom, we're not going anywhere. Things remain the way they are. We're in charge now. Do not dare me, for you know I can tear you to shreds. Whatever. Tell me, what do we do? Now that Mom has gotten the glimpse of what is going on in the company, what do we do? Nothing. People do nothing. Which one is nothing? Now why would you say nothing? You know that our mom is capable of doing so many things. You're standing as if you don't even know our mom again. Please, the area will begin to think or rather you begin to think on how to salvage this whole mess that is happening here, the better. No matter what happens, I'm still the job, brother. I'm still the first son of the family. And a go good And a go good He said, no but your brother. And I call Yeri. Is that the way forward? No, I'm asking you. Please, next time, do not insult me. I won't take it again. No, I shouldn't insult you. Do not insult me next time. No, but why would you keep pleasing the friends that you would have? What about me? Am I not part of the inheritance? In a tomato? And the no, first you're the first son, but the inheritance belongs to the border of us. Oh, yes. Oh, man, you're talking. Huh. Uh, I know why I'm worried. I know I'm so worried. Why are you fidgeting? Okay, if you not marry, join my hand and my I don't want to go to jail. War guard upon at this place. The war. There will be war in this house. If you do not release what is rightfully mine, I am the first son of this family. And I demand that my right should be given to me. Simple. Else, you're going to lock me again. You're going to lock me again. Just get ready to lock me again. And you'll be the person to come and bail me. <laughs> you know, you can't do more than a rotten dead rat. If you try any nonsense, I will deal with you, Raymond. You will see the beast in me. Mama, see. It's obvious you don't even have the fear of God in you. Because if you have the fear of God in you, you will release our inheritance so that there can be peace in this house. Are you enjoying this chaos here and there? Release this inheritance. Let everyone go their way. Anderson, that still happens to be your name, right? Mom, that's my name. Onya Papa Nagwa cannot. Modindo Mongularo. Do not bring out the lioness in me. Because you will not be able to handle it. I, Charity Okonkwo, alias Mamasi, when I promise I'm going to deal with someone, I carry it out to the letter. So don't try any nonsense with me. 